perfect for anyone looking to boil water quickly and conveniently. Today, I'm reviewing the Jetboil Flash. I'm Ethan with Pack Travel Hike, and this is the Jetboil Flash, an all-in-one cooking system that quickly boils water for coffee, tea, and rehydrating meals in 100 seconds. This can be for camping, tailgating, and for those who work out in the cold and want to be able to have hot beverages throughout the day. Or even as part of your emergency kit if you lose power or gas. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this one many, many years ago with my own money, and overall it's been a great experience. I'll walk you through how to set it up, its great features, what comes in the package, other accessories you can buy for it, and how it compares to other camping stoves on the market. The main body of this jet boil consists of a one liter hard anodized aluminum flux ring cup wrapped in an insulated cozy. And the best part about it is that all the contents that come with it fit nicely inside. These include the burner and the fuel canister stabilizer. The only necessary thing that does not come in the package is a fuel canister. And the feed stabilizer can accommodate both small and large fuel canisters. These are isobutane propane fuel mixes made by Jetboil, but you can also go with one that's made by another company as well. If you want to go even bigger, you can always ditch the stabilizer. Do note though that only the smallest 100 gram Jetboil fuel can be stored inside the Jetboil, but slightly larger ones made by other companies like this 110 gram one from GSI will also fit. All right, let's first start by showing you how to set the jet boil up, and then I'll do a deep dive into its features after that. It'll all make sense in the end, and if it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. In order to set it up, just snap the fuel canister into the stabilizer, extend out the burner valve, twist the burner onto the top of the fuel canister. Next, you turn the metal here on the side to start the flow of gas, and press the igniter button to start the flame. To prepare the cup, just remove the bottom plastic protector, which by the way acts as a measuring cup or bowl, remove the top lid and pour in the water. Secure the cup to the burner by lining up the dot with the cutoff at the bottom of the rim of the cup and twist. That's it. Now that we have water boiling, let's talk about some of the features working our way from the top to the bottom. Starting with the lid. It has a hole for drinking and newer versions have a section designated for straining. And then there's a middle hole which is necessary in order to use the Jetboil French press, which is sold separately. They also sell a version of the Jetboil Flash which comes with the French press, and that kit is called the Jetboil Flash Java Kit. Working our way down to the main cup, this model I have here has a line on the inside of the unit indicating two cups, which is the max fill line. Filling past this line could cause the water to boil over, which is dangerous! And don't ever light the stove if there's no liquid in the cup. That's a no-no. Catchphrase. No, that's not a catchphrase. The insulation sleeve on the outside has a thermochromatic color changing heat indicator that lets you know exactly when the water boils. On the other side of the insulation sleeve is space to store utensils. Jetboil sells their own collapsible utensils seen here, but they are sold separately and you can fit two utensils on the side. What makes the Jetboil series unique is its flux ring technology, which claims to reduce boiling times and improve fuel efficiency by utilizing a greater surface area. This flex ring is attached to the bottom of the main unit and is not removable. It is protected by a bottom cup which doubles as a measuring cup or bowl. The main cup sits on top of the burner which locks into place via turning into position. The burner has a push button igniter which is a very convenient way to light the fuel. This saves you from having to light a match or getting your fingers close with a lighter. Built into the stove is a twist valve that starts the flow of gas. Even though there's a plus and minus notation, it's essentially on or off. It does not throttle depending on how much you twist, and I'll tell you why that's a bad thing in just a second. The Jetboil Flash is not super quiet, but it's not so loud that it's gonna wake up your camping neighbors. The fuel canister stabilizer helps balance the can with three feet and cutouts to fit in a range of fuel sizes and folds up nicely when you're not using it. The entire unit, not including fuel and accessories, weighs 13.1 ounces, which is definitely heavier than other camping stoves on the market, such as the MSR Pocket Rocket or Snow Peak Light Max. What makes the Jetboil so unique is its all-in-one design. So instead of getting a cup and a lid for that cup and something to hold that hot cup with, it's all included and fits nicely and compact inside of itself. It's convenient at the expense of weight and size. There's a wide variety of accessories that are sold separately, including a coffee French press, a hanging kit, pot support, skillet, and utensils. The pot support allows you to cook using pots or pans on the jet boil unit. As I mentioned before, there is no flame throttling, and therefore, if you wanna cook using pots and pans on the pot support, it's gonna to lead to major 
hot spots, meaning your food's not gonna cook evenly. You constantly have to stir, and if this is the main way that you wanna cook, I would suggest getting a different camping stove. Jetboil makes many different size cooking systems that are bigger, wider, act as hot plates. The Jetboil Flash is the smallest of the all-in-one systems. So with that, it's nice that the pot support works with the Flash should you be in a pinch and need it. So who's this for? This is a versatile product that I'll start by saying I have as part of my emergency kit. Should I lose power or gas? It's nice to know that I have the ability to purify water, rehydrate meals, make soup, heat food, and I can take it on the go with me should I be in an emergency situation where I need to leave my house. If you're car camping, this is a no-brainer. Unless you wanna cook for multiple people with multiple burners and you wanna accommodate a bigger fuel capacity. But if you're one or two people camping for one or two nights and you just wanna rehydrate meals and make coffee and make tea, it's perfect. If you are a backpacker who often through hikes, I would recommend going with a lighter weight camp stove and buying a lightweight cup to go along with it. It'll be more versatile and you won't be carrying around the extra weight of the Jetboil Flash for features that are not essential. If you work in a cold environment and you're outside a lot, such as a construction worker, the Jetboil Flash will allow you to boil water and have a hot beverage midway through your shift. It also comes in handy if you're watching your kids winter sporting events, but do keep in mind if they're playing in a complex where they don't allow fuel in, you're not going to be able to bring it. Same with airplanes. You can bring the Jetboil Flash on an airplane, but you can't bring the fuel canister. You're going to have to pick that up when you get to your destination. And don't ever use the Jetboil Flash inside of confined spaces as the burn fuel can be toxic. Always boil outside of your tent. The Jetboil Flash is rated for three seasons, which means if you're hiking or camping in very cold weather, there could be a performance drop. When temperatures drop below freezing, you do need to keep your fuel warm, either by keeping it next to your body or in your sleeping bag. For more information on this, you can check out the Frequently Asked Questions section of the Jetboil Flash product page. Here are the specs for the Jetboil Flash if you want to pause the video. If you're interested in purchasing the Jetboil Flash or any of the accessories, You've seen this video, there will be links to the products down below in the description. These are affiliate links, so I may get compensation uh, for qualifying purchases. This goes a long way in helping support the channel so I can continue to make videos like this. And you know what else helps? Giving this video a like and dropping a comment down below of your go-to cooking system, or if you have any questions about this one. And of course, subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to get updates whenever I post a new video and I'll see you in the next one. Phew, that was a lot of information, I'm gassed.